Yellow avocado is bad, man. Yellow avocado is bad. That's what my grandmother always used to say. Yellow avocado is bad. Peril and risk. I'm talking about the sun, buddy. If that spooks your noggin ski daddle before your britches get damp. Oh yeah, the sun's got me feeling sassy. Because when the sun's acting sassy, the weather's acting sassy. And then I'm acting sassy. How are you feeling? So yeah, we got our flying V. I would guess now would be about the time we would be feeling the earthquake uptick from the geoeffective solar wind stream. There ain't no party like an aurora party because these aurora parties don't stop. No, seriously. We've had a consistent aurora for months and months and months. I don't ever remember it being like that. It's true, son. You light up my life. There's an eye in there. But yep, that one is windy with clear definition. From my pattern recognition, I'm on a mission. I find this area here super duper fascinating. It's like it's curling up. What? Okay. At least these cameras aren't that glitchy. That's something. This storm looks filled with outgoing surprises. Let's look at the future projection. Though I gotta warn you, this one likes to grow into a monster future projection. What the hell? Look at that. Yeah, the weather's weird. Yeah, that looks like it has potential to be bad. Purple. Nobody likes the purple sleep. Sweet. This looks like some pretty nasty flooding in Sicily. Major flash flooding. Causing problems for people, animal, and structures. Plus, infrastructure and roadways. Yeah, so the storm that is quickly passing now out the east coast, like a gallstone, will be followed by another quick storm that extends from the Ruder to the Tudor of the United States, and it has all type of mixed precipitation, and then a storm behind that. Wild, wacky, weird weather patterns on the way. I've got the solar data racked up, stacked up, and jacked up, so let's get this show on the road. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the beginning of the month of November, and the first three days are when I, Star-Lord New Thor 7, your Planetary Defense Commander, put out a call of action to help me keep my channel up and running through your contributions and donations to my PayPal link so I can continue to bring you amazing, awesome information you may or may not get anywhere else. All the time! Wave after wave after wave. I just want what Newton wants. To reinforce stability and harmony in the civic world. Wouldn't that be nice? Hit the button, baby. Active volcanoes. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents, and here we go. Everyone who dicks wants to talk about planets. All right. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let the ass kicking of knowledge begin. Plus, smiles. Happy Thanksgiving. A bit early, I know. That's what she said. In Ontario, the auroras are ripping to the tippy top. They're like little baby birds growing on the surface of the sun. Okay, are you with me? Are you feeling it? You got the high tide inside? I'll keep that in mind. I don't want it to get dull for you, darling. Yeah, I'm talking to you too, jackass. I said to myself, come on, let's manifest a good time. Mother Nature's going to continue to pick on the East Coast, regardless of season. Comedy will save us all. Probably not today, though. I look for life to improve after the election. There's crazy crap happening everywhere, man. Watching the pressure roll by is kind of fun. Want to do it with me? Let's do it. Together. You and I must make a pact. We must bring salvation back. Hey, that has like two planet X's or heiresses on it. Represented in pressure, of course. Not the actual planets. Just their pressure signatures. You know, if orbital mechanics is really a big thing. We got an election day storm. That is going to be just like a Taco Bell burrito. And I'm talking beefy. That can't be good. Who wants a burrito with an eye in it, man? This beefy person must be from over the pond. Because they're cheeky over there. Hey, wordplay. It's a thing. That is the eye of the storm. There's definitely some jack shit crazy going on. So looking at you. Are you paying attention? It's going to be a nasty one. How low can you go? That's pretty low for overland, man. That's pretty low for overland. That's all I'm saying. It's the eye of the tiger. And the tiger looks pissed. Or whatever. Man, I'm seeing arrows and lions and straight sevens. Kingpin. Half heads. Giant jets. Rain band. Horseshoes. Funky nuggets. Dapper dip downs. And chunk funk and squirrely bunks. I made that up. Look at this jet thing happening down here. That's crazy. We're getting a good look at the smooth rotation of that atmospheric river. I keep pointing out. It looks like it's reload time. It's getting faster. Or... This moisture band, rain band, is almost looping around. We get giant looping rain bands, man. That is bad wet news. That is flooding city all over the place. Look at this jet thing. 
Oh, it's like a Loch Ness Monster. Wonder what sign that is. But then, look at that jet. It's like a straight V. There's where the jet thing is. That keeps consistently happening as well. Plus, I don't want to beat an erupting volcano horse. But I do want to point out that you got erupting volcanoes like here, here, and here. I guess I should have used orange. So it's no surprise, we continue to see jet action in the Gulf. Go ahead and scream your bumper sticker answer at your monitor now. Mythological Loch Ness Monster works for me. Plus volcanoes. Yeah, it's all wild. There's so much happening here. There's another weird thing over here. We had a weird thing over there. Weird things everywhere. And these straight lines are bugging me. Good to know. Today's rainy pattern for November the 2nd, Freaky Friday, is a batarang, a ball sack, and a little chunk. What does that one chunk want? And get your mind out of the gutter. This ball sack is like tennis balls and grapefruits. I'm kicking ass now. Okay, man, I better be sciencey, charming, inspiring, plus a little sexy. If I want to pay my rent and make my bills, here we go. How about this? Party dance time. I don't know if you know this. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. <laughs>